Uh, it's a nice vista with the donut all lit up and the palm trees. It's nearly showtime, and Casper Baby Pants has a problem. If I go here, I and a decent number of the people will be undercover. It's going to rain on his concert in the parking lot of Top Pot Donuts. What should I do? What should I do? What am I going to do? He makes a last minute call. All right, I think I'm deciding to try inside. And I know that's more work for you guys. All right, I'm going to start bringing in gear. This is my 867th show. Use your knees, kids. No, six. No, seven. 867. Yeah. This is butterscotch, my guitar. Casper Baby Pants' worry isn't that no one will show up on a rainy day. This is a very small table. I think I can make it work. It's that the audience may not fit these. under one roof. And in close quarters, his fans are known to get unruly, even violent. I have a sort of dangerous repeat offender who wants to tear everything apart. Um, I can refer to the blue line. Where did all these kangaroos come from? Oh my goodness! Kangaroos! You see, most of this songwriter's fans are under six years old. Like Oliver, he's three. And this is a dedication to a, a request from and a dedication to Oliver here who has brought his little orange guitar and he's awesome. I put you on a small rock, now the small rock can talk. This dedication is more of an honor than Oliver realizes because Casper Baby Pants used to be the president of the United States of America. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, a president of the United States of America. I want to ride in the sun. In the 1990s, the president's music was everywhere. Their first album went double platinum, and the band toured the world. The goofy guys from Seattle were rock stars. The big secret that I'm going to let out now is that being famous is not awesome. Chris Ballou, the president's front man, sorry, didn't like being a rock star. I, I wanted to break up right away. But of course, the machinery was humping and pumping, and the pony is pooping gold bricks. We had to just ride that pony until it was dead. <laughs> <laughs> and where are the presidents now? Uh, we're we're um, on a lifetime break. <laughs> Let's get to work. The breakup of the president sent Chris on a journey of self-discovery that began in his own backyard. Up to my. Oh. That's probably why I was there. The magical box that um, has a symphony inside of it. And in this tiny it. home studio, Chris stripped his music to the bone with a folk music undercurrent. He liked it, but felt unclear about where he was headed until he saw this. But if I want my way, I'll say, we wouldn't have Casper if it weren't for my art. <laughs> and when I saw Kate's artwork, I thought immediately, I want to make music that's from that world. And when I did it, I listened back and it hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh, oh, oh! It's kids music. Pretty crabby. Today, Chris and collage artist Kate Andel are married and their home in West Seattle is a cottage industry of joy. This needs to go back outside. Kate creates cover art for the albums. Chris and Kate write Casper Baby Pants books. There are music videos too. They're all vacant at the Stump Hotel. Get a splintery room with a musty old smell. Um, what if the drops were different colors? Mm, you just kind of read And that's where Chris's 15-year-old daughter gets into the act. Josie helps storyboard videos. By the way, she's cool with her dad's new gig. You know, he's kind of a goofy guy. So I think the, the kids' music stuff sort of resonates with him more than, like, the rock and roll stuff. That kids' music just keeps coming. See, what have we got here? Doctor, nurse, ambulance, hospital. Chris has about 150 Casper songs in some state of creation. He's kicking on the bed. Mm. One fell off and bumped his head. He plays all the instruments, sings all the parts. He's the recording engineer. Yes. Butterfly driving a truck. All right. Butterfly driving a truck. The one thing Chris wasn't going to do was perform live. 
But once he tried it, kids went crazy for Casper. And vice versa. It's do! It's do! I've had so many parents come up and say, you're the soundtrack to us raising children. And that is just, ah, uh, it gets me. I'm getting a little, whew, I'm getting a little verklempt. It's fantastic. He's been doing it long enough that some of those early children that were fans of Casper are now graduating to the president's music. Poor little me, pushing and shoving all around my loving tree. While that's gratifying, now in his 50s, Chris has no desire to follow his older fans back to rock and roll. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming. Okay, bye. I'm 51, I could be 71 and be doing this and it'd still feel good. As Casper's 867th concert wraps up, there are no groupies, no roadies, no hint of what Chris Ballou used to be, only what he is now, a do-it-yourself musician and a happy man. That was good. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.